Hey everyone! Today I am giving you a quick and powerful guide for the best PC settings for Destiny Rising. Even though it's designed for mobile, NetEase officially recommends an emulator, and trust me, it performs beautifully on 4044p full screen. No need to be stuck on the tiny phones or tablet screen anymore. So, step 1. Install the Mumu player. Click the three dots to open the device settings and set the graphics API to Vulkan. It delivers the best performance. CPU cores choose between 8 to 12. More than that, there's no benefit and it might slow down your main PC. RAM 6GB is plenty. I tested 12GB and saw zero difference. GPU strategy set to the best graphic performance. If your FPS dips below 100, switch to auto tuning. Discrete graphics definitely turn us on. The display settings use your native monitor resolution. Mine is 44p. Ignore DPI if it's over 100. It's tied to the screen size and the stop monitors rarely exceed 200 DPI's. FPS set it to 120. The game engine caps it there anyway. Turn on Windows Auto Rotation because it makes it easier to navigate social links and claim in-game rewards. Model settings. It doesn't affect PC performance, but there is a trick. Set the device model to the high-end chipsets like Samsung Snapdragon. Why? It prevents the game from thinking you're on the budget device and locking you out of 120 FPS. So, now let's go to the game settings and tweak some settings there. Field of view, crank it up to 95 or above for the better visibility. Motion blur, definitely off, because you want the crisp visuals. Screen shake, minimize, again for the better visibility. Graphics, max everything out. Audio, turn the music off. Many collectibles in the game rely on the subtle audio cues, and music can drown them out. And that's it, your Android emulator is now fully optimized for Destiny Rising. If it helps, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and let's see you in the next one. Until next time, bye!